If you need to write 12.5 as a fraction, here's how you do it. First off, let's call it 12.5 over 1. We're just dividing by 1. We haven't changed the value. Now at the start of a fraction. Next, let's get this to a whole number. I see there's one decimal place. With one decimal place, we multiply by 10. That'll give us a whole number. So 10 times 12.5, that ends up giving us 125. We can't just multiply the numerator by 100, though. We also have to multiply the denominator. So 10 over 10, that's equal to 1. We're not changing the value. We're just putting it in a different format. So 10 times 1 is 10. And now we have a fraction, 125 over 10. But we can simplify this. Let's give ourselves some room. I could divide 5 into 125 and into 10. So 125 divided by 5, that's 25. And then 10 divided by 5, that's 2. So we have this fraction here. This is an improper fraction, 25 over 2. We could write it as a mixed fraction because 2, that goes into 25 12 times with 1 left over. So we'll say 12 and 1 half. So 12 and 1 half or 25 over 2, that's the same thing, has the same value as 12.5. It's just that these are in fraction form. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.